Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. It's this really cute Halloween bag that I made using my Big Shot and some other Stampin' Up! products. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this bag at home. I was out shopping today for groceries and I happened to come across one of my favorite Halloween candies. It's the candy corn. And so I thought, oh my gosh, I have to come home and make my Sundays with Sizzix project using this candy corn. So I'm going to show you a really cute treat bag idea for those little trick-or-treaters that might be coming to your door. Or perhaps you have a Halloween party coming up next month and you want to take some treats. So this would be something to try at home. I'm going to start with um, a package of our one by eight cello bags. And I have the Googly Ghoul stamp set. It's one of my most favorite stamp sets for Halloween this year. And some jet black stays on. And I'm going to ink up the bat with the jet black stays on. And I am going to stamp him on the cello bag, right on top of the cello bag, like so. And then I'm going to set the cello bag aside to let it dry for a little bit. Hopefully you can see the bat stamped on that. So I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to re-ink the bat and I'm going to stamp him down. And then I'm done with my Whisper White or with my Jet Black stays on. I also have mounted on a clear block the Boo phrase and I'm going to ink it up using pumpkin pie ink and stamp the boo hopefully right under the bat. Yep, there we go. And I'll set that aside. And then <clears throat> I'm going to use my Big Shot to die cut out the bat and the boo and I'm going to use the Labels Collection Framelits. I'm going to bring out the smallest one. My sandwich is the platform on tab two because the framelit is so thin that I need to have it on the highest part of my platform. I'm going to put the smallest framelit around the bat and the boo. Get it centered, hopefully. Put on my top standard cutting pad. Hold it down and run it through the Big Shot. Oh good, perfect. Worked out perfectly. So there's the little tag for my bag. I'm done with the Big Shot right now. And then what I want to do is, once I'm sure that my little cello bag is dry. I'm going to take my candy corn and I'm going to slide it in the bag and push it all the way down. Obviously you don't want to handle it a lot because um, of cleanliness issues. So you could take maybe a skewer, a wooden skewer or a metal skewer and that would help you push the candy corn down the bag. I've got one already done. Here it is here. So I've got my candy corn in my bag and then what I did was I sealed down the top. There's a little self-adhesive sticky thing that you can peel off and then fold it over as much or as little as you'd like and just stick it shut like that and that keeps it all the candy inside the bag. Then what I'm going to do is bring in, I have some um, basic black 1 8 inch taffeta ribbon and my p ribbon cutting scissors and I'm just going to tie a little knot or maybe a little bow. I guess you could do either a knot or you could do a bow. I think I'm going to do a knot. And then trim that off and then I'm going to attach my tag. Go. I've got my knot looking pretty good. And then to attach my tag, I'm going to take a handheld punch. I've got a 1 16th inch handheld punch. Punched a hole in the top of the tag. 
And then I'm going to bring in some Whisper White Baker's Twine. I have a darning needle that I sort of stick through the cardboard part of my Baker's Twine so that I don't lose the needle. And I'm going to thread that through. And then I'm going to just thread it underneath my knot in my bag. And then I'm going to tie it at the top. You could do a knot, you could do a bow, whatever you like. I think for the purpose of this video, I'll just do a knot. It's easier than me than to try and do a bow. There we go. And I'll just trim it off like so. And then the last piece is, of course, I have to use some googly eyes on my bat because nothing would be better than a bat with eyes that are googly eyes. So I'm just going to use my darning needle and poke it under the googly eye sheet. It's got a self-adhesive underneath, so if you pick it up with the adhesive and then attach it to your bat and there you go. You've got a bat with some googly eyes and a really fun Halloween present. For a complete listing of the supplies and the products that I use to make this Halloween treat bag, please pop on over to my blog, www.nutsnutzaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, you can look through lots of other sample ideas I have. You can place an order through my online store. You can ask me a question, or you can also join my mailing list. It's free, and I send out two e-newsletters a month with other exclusive ideas that you won't see anywhere else. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.